Be just a reminder that there are no laws against annotating your charts in Excel and that it's one of the easiest ways to make your charts easier to interpret and more impactful. Excel's got a bunch of tools for this. They all live right here under the insert tab. And then in this little section right here, you can add in shapes, images, etc. And this is what lets us do basically anything we do in PowerPoint. There are a few of my favorites. Drop in a rectangle. I like to right click and go to format shape. It's going to be right down here. It just gives us this formatting pane. I prefer to do my edits in here. So what you can do is give this a color, whatever color you want, and then make that color quite transparent, right? So we're saying like 80, 90% transparent, and then give it a line that is kind of a related color, maybe something kind of similar. You can also make it kind of transparent. And then you might even try giving it a dashed line. That's a little option down here to give it dashes. That's going to give you a little box you can drag around to highlight different areas, and then you could add notes above or below it. Another favorite is to just use this little elbow connector tool. It's just a nice clean way of pointing out specific sections and then giving a little space where you can add your text below. And in the ending pane, there's lots of controls for this. So you can change the arrow type. Say you don't want an arrow at the end, maybe you want a dot or something like that. You can do that here. You can also change the size of the ending, like the little circle could be bigger, the arrow could be bigger. For the most part, we want to over explain, not under explain. Your audience probably doesn't know as much as you. You might have audience members who have no idea what's going on in the charts you're showing them. So give them the context they need to understand it, and you're gonna have a much lower chance of people misinterpreting your data, and a much lower chance of miscommunication leading to big problems in how the data is interpreted. It's worth taking the time to do it. It's a little bit of manual work, but it has an outsized impact on the quality of your data communication. Oh, and by the way, I send these out on the newsletter if you wanna go sign up for it. It's over on my profile. That's all for now, everyone. Have a good one. Talk to you soon.